Hi there everyone, my name is Pritam and I welcome you all to this channel. Today I am super excited to talk about the recently released app from Microsoft which is known as Microsoft Loop. So let's start with an overview of what Microsoft Loop is and why it is worth your attention. Especially if you are hosting a team or you are a manager or you work in a team or collaboration. Not only that, we will also cover the aspect of how you can download and install this app. So without further ado, let's get started. So before we go further, let's dive in and let's understand what exactly Microsoft Loop is. The Microsoft Loop is a collaborative workspace that helps you to manage and organize projects efficiently. It is particularly useful if you work in a small project or um, you know you used to maintain tasks like creating a to-do list, taking a meeting notes or conducting brainstorm session. It combines the feature of multiple Microsoft tools that include Office, Word, PowerPoint. Not only that, it also includes tools like Microsoft Theme, Outlook and OneNote. It helps you to create dynamic and customizable workspace for your team. However, its versatility does not end there. One of its key strength is to ability to integrate another tool seamlessly. For example, you can create a voting table in loop to determine everyone's preferred marketing idea. In the same way, you can also perform voting as well. The Microsoft Loop comes with features that ensure that your content remains in sync across different platforms, making it easier to collaborate and work efficiently regardless of the tool you are using. Now one question may arise in your mind, why we need to use this Microsoft Loop? Why can't we simply use SharePoint or Microsoft Teams, which itself is a collaborative tool? And also doing the same work, so why actually we do need this Microsoft Loop? Well, Microsoft Team is primarily for communication and collaboration, while Microsoft SharePoint is mainly for document management and file sharing. On the other hand, Microsoft Loop combines the feature of both Teams and SharePoint, which means that you have best of both collaboration as well as file management, along with another Microsoft Tools capability. Microsoft Loop helps you to create customizable workspace where the whole team member can collaborate on project and manage their workflow efficiently. Loop offers real-time co-authoring which is amazing guys and can integrate with other Microsoft tools as we discussed before, making it a very versatile platform for effective collaboration and productivity. Now let's see how we can download and install Microsoft Loop in our system. For that, let's jump into our system screen. Okay, so here we are in our computer screen and I have already opened Microsoft as browser. Now let me type here loop. And there we go. Here we can see this is the link and not to worry guys, I will also provide the same link in the description of this video so that you can directly reach this page. Now let's click here on get started with loop. And actually I'm opening it in new tab and there we go here we are in our new tab and you may see the capability that it comes with so and as we were talking about that this is one of very powerful collaboration tool and you can see the same here on the left hand side the word document on the right hand side is outlook then there is a to-do list powerpoint and then there is a chat as well so you can see every kind of collaboration here inside working together to achieve the project objective and if we scroll it down, here we can see more features about it like stay in sync without switching apps, brainstorming and many more. So let me now go back in the top and click on get started. So let me choose here my personal account. And let's see whether I can use Microsoft Loop with my personal account. And there we go. Here we can see we can utilize our personal account to use Microsoft Loop. So the Loop dashboard looks like this. Now in order to create a new project, what we need to do is we need to simply click here on add a new workspace and then here we can give it a name. And let's say I want to work in a DIY project with my colleagues. So I'm going to write here DIY project. Tick 
to improve sales now let me click here on create and that's how guys we have created this workspace now here i can give it a name or what else i can do is i can directly select the template for example um, i would like to go with project brief template i can select this one and then i can click on use this template and there we go here we can see within just single click i have a layout available so here i can provide project brief heading and some overview goals team members and many other and at the same time as we have seen before we can add or integrate documents like word excel powerpoint directly inside now let's say you want to see what kind of activity is going on in this workspace then you can always click here on this down arrow and can see on activity that will give you a glimpse of you know the activity is being added now let's say you want to add more members to this workspace simply you need to click here on this member and there we go here we can add or invite other people as well and let's say you also want to customize it you can always do that simply by typing let's say i want to add new heading here and then um, you also have an option actually to manipulate the data by pressing forward slash and there we go yeah you can see different different options that you can add here so for example you want to add project progress tracker or heading like this it is very easy to work inside this microsoft loop not only you can add heading or text but you can also add tables date and images as well similar to this template you can also add other new page and other new document let's say you also going to have some meetings you can select this meeting template and this again will help you to create a very general but very useful meeting template where you may discuss with your whole team and since all this is being added to this diy project workspace so you can find everything at one place isn't it cool guys and that's it we hope that this video has given you a better understanding of what microsoft loop is all about and how we can collaborate effectively and efficiently with our team member utilizing microsoft loop i hope that this helps and let me know if you have got any kind of concern or question in your mind also do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel to follow us and catch more such kind of productive videos and i will catch you soon in my next one till then take care and bye bye